Hi Martin. Uh, so I figured out the issue and I'll explain it in this video. So we've got our object here which has two map mapping channels. So let's take a look at them here in the Rhino 8 whip. I'll open up the UV editor and we've got uh, mapping channel 1 which is obviously the UV UVs from the scan and then mapping channel 2 which uh, was derived as a custom object mapping from the box that you copied. So the mesh you copied and that led me to figure out what was going on here. When you assign a custom mapping object with another object and you use the little rubber ducky here to do that, um, that means that this mesh is actually over here. And so when we try and bake from the scan this UV space we try and bake from here into the UV island over here, it's not uh, hitting it, it's missing it. So when you, when you use this particular method, you have to have the objects over, overlapping one another um, precisely when, uh, when you perform that uh, initial custom mapping. So let's do that now. So if we take this and this and run the align command, I'll use concentric and I'm just going to put it somewhere. It doesn't really matter. They're concentric now. So I've got the two of them on top of one another. They're actually fighting for visibility here. Um, so now I'll take the scan and I'm going to give it a new custom mapping channel and that's going to be from here and I'm going to make this mapping channel 3 because 2 was already used. Alright, so now if we open up the, the UV editor for this object and we go to mapping channel 3 you see where the UV island is? It's right over the object where we're going to actually be trying to to pull the the information from when we bake the mapping into this new channel. Alright, so hopefully that makes sense. So then we'll take this guy and we'll run bake mapping. And the source mapping channel is mapping channel 1 because that's our scan. And then the target mapping channel, what do I want to bake those pixels into? That's going to be 3. And then this fill pixels around, this basically just uh, takes the color of the pixels right at the edge of the island and, um, and uses that color a certain number of pixels away from the edge. So essentially what it'll do is minimize uh, any sort of thin black lines you'll get. I'm going to give it a value of two pixels. Um, and then I'm going to overwrite one of my files here. And you can uh, choose anything you want here for your your width and height. Your actual scan texture was 4K and if you put in 4096 by 4096 that will work but it'll just take a lot longer. So for the sake of the video I'm gonna do it at 512. And we'll get a little progress bar down at the bottom of the screen and you can imagine listening to some elevator music right now. <laughs> um, this command has never become real. It's never gone live, but um, but it has existed for a little while as a test command. And uh, and I hope someday that we actually do make it a real command and, and document it. But uh, in the meantime, it is it is here. Although I'm sure everything doesn't work perfectly. Um, so let's make a new material now, and we're going to do another base color channel. And I'm going to add our image that I just baked out. And I'll take this mesh and uh, let's just make a copy of it to the side because the UVs are going to travel with this object. And then we'll assign this. And uh, by default, the image in this material is using mapping channel 1. So we'll just make it use mapping channel 3. And there you go. If you open up the UV editor for this object, you'll have all three of the, the mapping channels. And if we go to three, you'll see that it is using that new baked image that we did. Now the last thing I'll leave you with here is that, um, see all this stuff happening right here? I don't like that. The reason that happens is due to welded versus unwelded edges. So if it looks like that, it's a it's a welded edge. So if we run uh, unweld edge, we'll grab all these guys. 
now it's good. Now if we didn't do the fill, uh, that fill pixel, then we might have like a thin black line like right here. But uh, because we did the fill, we've got, I gotta switch this back to three. We've got a little bit of uh, this border, this two pixel border happening around here. So you don't get any of that black space uh, behind. All right, uh, I hope that helps. And um, look forward to seeing what you can do with bake mapping.